Andy Zweibel here at the Alfred booth at Midwest 2010. I've got Peter Boonshaft with me, who was instrumental in developing Alfred's new sound innovations, uh, beginning method books for strings and wind and percussion. So Peter, uh, if you wouldn't mind, tell me a little bit, um, just on a most, most basic level, what is the Sound Innovations Method? Sound Innovations is a remarkable new method book for strings and beginning band, developed by Alfred. And it actually comes in two formats. The one is the traditional uh, method book that has been around forever. You can buy at any dealer and it's available, ready to go. And it has many revolutions to it, many innovations that make it very, very special, very new, which we can talk about a couple of those. But the other part that's amazing is the greatest revolution to me in method books in history. And that is the first time that a teacher can go on and customize their own beginning string or band book and have it bound, printed, and made for them special with all of what they want in it. And it's delivered right to them. So wow. it's really quite a remarkable product. And how did you find yourself getting involved in the, in the development of this? Years ago, I was approached by some of the authors uh, on the team for this. And at first, I was reluctant because I thought to myself, well, if we're just going to do another method book, why does the world need another method book? There are already so many wonderful ones by some really remarkable authors. And they started saying, well, what do you think could be made better? And we started bantering around ideas and things. And then we decided we would stumble on this phenomenal new approach. Method books before have always been done by authors or groups of authors who decided what they thought was best. And as I said, they gave us great gifts and they're remarkable people. Most of them are some of my best friends. We decided to change the paradigm. And what we did is we interviewed thousands of teachers, literally over 2,000 teachers from all around North America, and asked them what they wanted and what they didn't want in a method book. We took that information to use as the basis for the decisions we made. So teachers gave us these ideas and really helped us write this book based on what they wanted. That's really the reason I got involved, because I saw that it was a different approach. And then when I heard about the customizability, the fact that this was the first time in history this could be done. To me, this was like the greatest invention since the printing press, and I couldn't miss that opportunity. And it's a wonderful team of authors, uh, some of the finest people I've ever had the privilege of working with. And I've known them for 20 years, which is a great part, and a company that is just a, a joy to work for. So you did say that you've had some fantastic people collaborating with oh, you on this project. Yeah. Who's, who's joined you on this? What oh, have they brought well, to the table? The, the author team has been Bob Sheldon, one of the most remarkable, talented individuals I've ever known in my life. Whether he's conducting, whether he's composing, whether he's teaching, he's just truly one of the giants of the industry. Bob Phillips, one of the most remarkable educators I think the world has ever seen. And uh, as nice a human being as he is talented. Dave Black, from my vantage point, one of the great percussion educators in ESP. Uh, one of the most exciting things is uh, one of the, the best-selling percussion method books in history has always been the Yamaha Band Method. And we started thinking about percussion and trying to get someone thought, well, let's ask Dave, because he's one of the authors of that, and it's been a remarkable product that teachers love and adore. So we decided, wouldn't it be great to have that wisdom in this book? So it's been a team of great people, and, and all of you behind the scenes in the production of it and making the computer generate the customizability and all the DVDs and everything. It's been a great, great team. Wonderful. So what type of basic foundation, founding principles is the SI method based on? Sound innovation was really predicated on the, the likes and dislikes of teachers. And some of the things that teachers told us that we wanted to make sure we accomplished. For example, one of them is they wanted every line of the book recorded for the kids. They wanted them on instrument-specific recorders. So it wasn't a sax player was listening to a clarinet or a bassoon was listening to a clarinet, but instrument-specific. They wanted them all, but this, this was the trick. They wanted them on one disc. Because up till now, it's been multiple discs. So when you get to line 135, it's disc two, track 36. And it was like doing algebra for kids. Also, by the time you got to disc two, most of the time, they lost disc two. This way, everything's on one disc. The tempo changer software that comes with it, so it allows the kids to go faster or slower in pitch, uh, is right on that disc. Every line is recorded on that disc. So it's a wonderful new time. The second thing we wanted was, we wanted to help teachers and students by having the tutors, so to speak. So we had the idea of the DVDs for this collection uh, were going to be master class artists from around the country, all accomplished performers who all taught little ones. And what we did is we done full length, high definition DVDs for every, we even did one for alto clarinet. From here's how you hold your case through everything about starting to play, breathing, posture, hand position, making your first notes, after that, through a series of techniques. So when they learn slur, there's a DVD icon that says, now watch your DVD specifically for your instrument. And then all the way to the final solo in the book. So they actually see the performance, not just hear it. And 
what's so great about this is we as the teachers can generically talk about slurring in our classroom and then send the kids home that night and hear people like Adam Fry on Euphonium help them learn how to slur in Euphonium. Giannis Mavoto on tuba, Teresa Payne on flute. So it's specific. So it's a wonderful review. It's a wonderful uh, way to augment what we're training the kids all the way through. Uh, so it's little things like that that we, we try to, to build upon wonderful work that's been done in the past to allow teachers to have these extra things that they all look great so much. What's the main sort of demographic of teacher that you're looking to appeal to in the sound innovation? Eddie, it's a great question. It's a, it's a fascinating question. I'll tell you the truth. Originally, we thought with the customizability especially that this was going to be a method for the new generation of teachers, the people who have always had an iPhone and have always had iPods and have always had you know, that kind of a thing. And we thought the people of my age, this would be, that's not going to happen. And what interestingly happened is, it ended up appealing to both demographics, both extremes, because the folks of your generation who are used to technology, they said, well, why not? This is, why shouldn't we do this? The people of my generation were so frustrated by not having the ability, they gravitated this, gravitated to this like someone who was thirsty finding water. So what we found is teachers who were in the last couple of years of teaching wanted to still do this because they said, finally, I can get what I want. So it's been a real neat mix of people. Now, I, I am a music education major, an undergraduate right. student, and that's primarily the, the, the group of people that I write for and have on the website. So can you talk a little bit about the potential advantages that SI can bring to pre-service music teachers uh, in terms of preparing us for teaching? Absolutely. Well, one of the first things I would say, as a young teacher, you're all prepared so well. And, and I think it's just fantastic in preparation the, the new generation of teachers are getting. But there's also, you get out in the real world and find out, wow, there's so much to learn. And there's so much to learn on the fly as you're, as you're going. And I think the DVDs help to a great extent because they augment what you're doing. And they give you that as an extra benefit in your teaching. So I think that's one thing. The other thing is, I think the generation of teachers that you're among have, have learned great opinions about what they want to teach. Maybe more so than my generation of teachers. So that you're coming out and being able to say, you know, I have this, 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 and this as a possibility. Which one do I want to use? And with the sound innovations and the ability to customize, you can choose them. Now you may change your mind and you may say, well, I really thought I wanted to start with four notes on the concert and flat for the band kids. But you know what? I think I'd like to try D going down on four notes. And you're going to continue experimenting with things that match your philosophy. So as a young teacher, I find that people will be able to say, this is what I want to try. Like at a restaurant. I might want to not get this the next time I go, I want to get some of this. But you get to have that ability to customize a book in that way. Great. Is there anything else you'd like to add about the SI series at all? Well, I think there are so many wonderful benefits to the series. And there's so many opportunities for teachers who are at the end of their career and the beginning of their career to find things that will appeal to them. I think the most important thing to me is that it allows teachers, whether they're at the beginning or the end of their career, to have input to have a book that matches their philosophy. But the other thing is, even with the wonderful standard edition available off the shelf right now, what's great is so many teachers have said, they've sat and listened to presentations and they said, how did you read my mind? And we look at them and said, we didn't read your mind, we read 2,000 other teachers' minds who told us what they wanted. And when you start to hear something 100, 200, 1,000 times from teachers about what they don't want in a book or do want in a book, you realize that probably represents most of the folks in our profession. So I think what they'll find is a lot of the things that have bothered them about the existing books or books that they wanted to augment or change are found. But the one thing I would tell, especially pre-service teachers, is there's no perfect method. Uh, the authors of most of the major methods are some of my closest friends in the world and are some of the most remarkable teachers and educators. And I've said this so many times, I think the job of a teacher is to find a method that matches what you want. It's like going to a restaurant. If I take you to my favorite restaurant, you may like it, you may not. Your job is to find restaurants you like. So I think all of the methods that exist are fabulous tools, and it's just a question of finding the tool that works best for you. And we hope Sound Innovations is something to look at. Great. Well, Peter, thank you so much thank for taking you. the time to talk about it. My pleasure. Best of luck to you. Thanks. Thanks.